Hello, this is Amjad al Mandilawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting a case of PCI for chronic total occlusion. The patient is a 65-year-old female with a stable angina referred for PCI to the LAD. She is hypertensive, not diabetic, and non-smoker. This is a bicodal view of the left coronary system. It shows a dominant left circumflex. The LAD has osteoplaque and a lesion at the distal part. This is a epicranial view. It clarifies the LED lesion, which looks to be totally occluded and receives epsilateral flow from septal to septal. This is a spider view. The lesion here does not appear to be totally occluded. We have to be cautious in some views because a smaller branch may obscure the lesion or the occluded part. And you have seen some cases where the operator tried hardly to enter a smaller branch, thinking that it, it is the course of the main artery. This is why multiple views are needed to clarify the stump, the, both proximal and the distal, the lesion length, calcification, adjacent branches, the distal vessel, and the collaterals. This is a lateral view. It shows a blunt stump proximally, a good distal stump, a lesion length less than 20 mm with a good distal vessel. So the JT, JCT CTO score would be one only for the blunt stump, no calcification, lesion length less than 20, no angulation, and this is the first attempt. So a total score of one giving intermediate difficulty. But what the JCTO score does not mention is the presence of branches at the site of the occlusion. And here we have two branches, and we will show that in a minute. So generally, for any CTO technique, there are four approaches. The anti-grade wire escalation, anti-grade dissection and re-entry, retrograde wiring, and retrograde dissection and re-entry. And the hybrid approach combine any one of these approaches according to what appears during the procedure. This is the RA codal view. It shows the blunt stump and the two branches. We wanted to puncture the stump between these two branches. Actually, it was the upper branch which posed the difficulty because it was in line with the stump and formed the continuity of the artery. So we put a wire in the upper branch and used a Miracle 6 wire to puncture the stump. And as you can see, with every manipulation, the wire jumps into the smaller branch. And this, uh, this posed a risk of perforation if harder wire was used. So we occluded that branch by a 2 millimeter balloon and tried to puncture the proximal cap. It was not easy. Multiple views were needed. We can see here in the lateral and the AP cranial view. And finally, by using a pilot 200 wire, we were able to puncture the proximal cap. Again, multiple views here are needed to make sure of the path of the wire, to track the intimal course and to reach the distal cap. The distal cap was easy to cross, the lesion predilated, it was tented and post dilated with a good final result. So the take home message in this case is that careful study of CTO lesions in multiple angiographic views is important for a planning for the procedure. Occlusion of a side branch near a CTO helps in preventing prolapse of the wire into that branch and help in directing the wire toward the stump. And thank you.